Hello everyone, it's me Just Control. Welcome to this very important tutorial for anyone who wants to make an ASMV. And ASMV stands for Enemy Storyline Music Video. If you ever try to make an ASMV, you may find this nice code or speech or talk or whatever, but you may have faced a problem that there is a high background music or host is being played on the background that you don't want to include it in your video you, you will be trying to eliminate that background music but unfortunately it's not possible because they are both of them are on the same audio channel so it's not possible to to separate them and it is a problem itself because it's gonna distract your audience while they are watching your video because if you have two two songs being played at the same time it will just ruin your flow and yeah, unfortunately I couldn't find any way to separate them 100% or eliminate the background music. I tried many many ways but not, none of them worked. But from my experience I found many ways to hide the background music or host beneath the song you are using for your ASMV. We just came back from... We were watching this movie, it's really awesome, The Hobbit. And I really enjoyed it though it was very long and I had a very hard day so yeah it was kind of funny and very entertaining and but it was a bit too long I think it's worth watching if you didn't watch it you must watch it and if you watch it let me know what's your favorite moment in the movie the first thing you need to do when you, fi when you find a good talk or speech or whatever with high background music is to look for alternatives. What I mean by that, for example here in this episode of One Piece, we have Rob Robin saying in the end of the episode, she shouts and she said, I want to live. But if you want to use that, you will find this problem that there is high background music and you don't want it to be included, as you can hear here. You can hear how loud it is, so it's gonna ruin your video. And what I mean by looking for an alternative, if you go to the next episode, those episodes are fillers if you go to this one go to the beginning of the episode she will repeat the same the same thing she said in the previous episode but this time without any background music <laughs> So you can hear how, how clear it is and there is no background music so our problem is solved but it's not always the case most of the time you will not find an alternative but you better look for one you may be lucky to find one and sometimes when there is a flashback or something they may repeat the same talk or the same speech without background music or at least lower okay now let's look at another example we have this nice talk but we're gonna face that problem that there is very high background music it's a it right here and if you notice in my last ASMV which is World of Conflicts IV I used the same cut and there was almost no background music, it's hard to notice. If we have a similar case, what we can do is that there is some gaps between the sentences, meaning to say that he will talk, then he will stop for a while, then he will talk again. What we can do is, you go to the end of his last word split and you split again at the beginning of the next sentence you delete the the, the middle part we split again again here split again delete this part 
delete this part, split here and delete this part and so on you do the same for the rest of the talk after cutting your, your cut into pieces and deleting the, the parts where there is no talk you need to let your talk fade in and then let it fade out so it will be h harder to for the audience to notice that there is background music Now you can still hear the os that the os is still really high but when we put our our talk beneath our song it's hard to notice that there is an os being played in the background and then we need to place our cut depending on how loud your background music is so if you have high background music you need to place your cut somewhere where your song you are using for your video is high for example we place this this talk at somewhere where our song is high because that the host in that talk is very very loud so if you play back now Noted that it's hard to hear the host in the background. Okay, in the case if you have no, if you have a talk with no background music, you better place that cut in somewhere where your song is not loud, because you don't need the song to hide any background music, so you can place that cut in that place. The last step is you need to vary the volume of your talk so the background music in your talk will not be heard at all but when you do that you must put many things into consideration like you don't want to have this one much louder than the following one so you'll have to adjust them all to to be in almost the same level so how to change the volume of your audio press and hold shift and select the last one so it will select the all the parts in between those two and then you can just come over here when you see gain is you press hold and drag down or up so you need to adjust it to a level that is, is suitable in your opinion and you need to make sure that there is not not that much different between the the first talk and the following one for example sometimes we need to even though there is no uh, background music we need to take this one down so their level will be the same many people have been asking me for this tutorial so here it is and hopefully you will you have learned something from this tutorial and i hope that the questions were tough about this topic because in like every video i get i get at least five comments asking for this one uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do a tutorial next week because I have many things to do. I have many assignment deadlines, lab reports, and and we are doing a charity event. And they they ask me to do a video like a montage for the event, so I'll be busy with that. And I will share it with you when I'm done. On 9th of February, I'll finish my final exams, and I will start. A series I will call it uh, ASMV making it's gonna teach in detail what are the steps you need to do an ASMV starting from the song ending with the transitions and everything including every detail hopefully that one will help you guys out it's Miros control I hope that I will see you next week <laughs> peace